Hey everybody, this is Alex from Cloud9 Cycles. So today I'm gonna to kinda of show you how to do a vacuum operated lifter pump up tool. There's a lot of other ones on the market. Um, you know, they're about 70 bucks. You can make this one for about five bucks. So right now I'll kinda of just show you all the tools that you'll need to make one and, and the parts you'll need. So let's just get into that real quick. So just kinda of going down the line here on, on some of the tools that we're gonna need. So this is a Mighty Vac. This is who makes it. It's just a vacuum operated brake bleeder here. Hooks up the airline here. Uh, you just need a wrench. Depends on the size that you need for the valve stem nut. Uh, this one's a 12 millimeter. Sometimes you'll need a half. Got our, our pilot drill bit here. Um, this is 3 16 and then we got a, a 5 5 16 here on it. Um, valve stem here. You can pick this up at any auto parts store, um, motorcycle shop, Harley dealership, anything like that. Um, and then you just need a mason jar, so after you're finished in the moonshine, you can you can take that. Or you can go to Walmart, pick one up for a couple bucks also. Uh, these are the lifters that we're going to be using um, on it. Obviously a drill, and then just some oil to fill that container up with it. So I've already gone ahead and, and drilled the hole out on the center on this one here. Um, super easy, you know, when I'm drilling it. I do it with it on, um, just so you're not going to... It's just easy to hold it and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and take it apart here. And then we'll install the valve stem. Rubber gasket. The washer that comes with it. And screw the nut on. And we'll just tighten it up with our wrench. Just might make a nice airtight seal. Um, already cleaned out the mason jar. No debris or anything like that in there. You want to make sure there's no extra shavings from when you're drilling out that top. So we'll go ahead and install the lifters into the jar. And these are going in um, a Harley Davidson, so I've just got some regular 2050, 20W50 oil. And we'll go ahead and just pour it in until it reaches the top of the lifters. And I have also taken out the valve core also, just to make this work. Go ahead and reinstall it. And then now, uh, now I'll get this Mighty Vac hooked up to air. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hook it up here, just the Mighty Vac. And then go ahead and just turn it on. You can just see it kind of sucking out all the air that's in the lifters. And then you turn to suck it in the oil and priming it all. So super slick, putting those lifters in. So I hope this tool helps you guys out. You know, it's a pretty sweet tool, easy to make. Thanks for watching, guys.